Hi there, beautiful soul. Welcome into the channel, Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for tuning in and I hope that all is well with you. In this reading, we're taking a look at love messages for Zodiac Saint Cancer. So these are your astrological or horoscope messages of love. We're going to be taking a look at what is going on. Remember though that these are general messages, so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So listen well, do, and just take the messages that are for you. Remember to apply your discernment. Any decision that you make is ultimately up to you and not a responsibility of the reader here. So apply your discernment, beautiful soul. Thanks for liking this video, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel for more messages like the one you will hear here. All right, so thanks, and let's get into it. The energy so far is that someone is someone always have you on their mind. Oh my! First card is ten of diamonds, and then I heard indigenous or sovereign. This person always have you on their mind. They're always thinking about you. Um, I saw the strength card. There's the judgment card as well. The star card ending up on the bottom of the deck. The star card is what gave me the energy of sovereign or righteous or um, something like that. Indigenous. And this person is always thinking about you. This person could be a Capricorn. You could have met this person at school, at work, or at a library. And this person is wanting to get to know you more. Or they're trying to get into your energy. Read you up. There's something about a father or your father also. This Ten of Diamonds for me is like the best life. Dream come true. Energy, love at first sight, deja vu, serendipity. So someone is one longing to meet you, connect with you. So this could be a family member. Um, but I feel a twin flame energy. Son, yes, yeah, something about a father. There, I know who this person is. This is a person, somebody you know. You know who this person is that has you on their mind. All right, the sun card. This person is thinking about you constantly. Stanley, the sun card and the ten of pentacles dreaming about you this person wants to see you come through they want to see you arrive appear show up you are this person's dream come true they're realizing there's a lot going on for you too when it comes to money inheritances some father energies um some things that happened some time ago so someone is looking for you someone is choosing you or someone wants to choose you this person's name could be Fuller or Bull or something. Buller. I'm also getting the energy not to let someone frighten you or scare you away. All right, this, this could be someone you met at school or someone wants to see you Tuesday or today. Gemini, maybe the month of March is appropriate. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. Yeah, Jack. This person is like... Um, an alchemist as well something about jack that could be someone's name this person wants to see you this person is a magician that wants to see you show up they're thinking about you constantly this person is out here trying to manifest you in their reality this person may watch you online or they're from your community or you and them have similar zodiac sign or similar interests this person could be older than you as well, like a past person that is wanting to manifest you back in their life. Right, someone that wants to hold you. And um, this person also wants to keep you away from someone else. So someone is also manipulative and trying to control you. But I'm getting that that is not going to happen. Six of Cups in the reverse. Your magician, someone is possessive of you. All right, so obsessed with your energy and they don't want to let you go. So they're doing, um, they're being manipulative to hold on to you, this person. You may not be speaking to this person and this person wants to speak to you. Clearly, they want to talk to you. There's some truth that needs to come out. There's someone that is saying they're sorry that they made you have to compete. This is the death card. I'm getting a past person energy that is 
trying to come back or restore their energy. This could have been, I hear Victor, like a vampire energy. And something going, that passed away. Okay, Taurus, February, Monday. All right, so there's someone in your life that is, this, this person loves you, but they're mysterious. This person reminds me of the, the little girl from Adam's family. So they're a bit dark in energy with the magician. I hear and the moon, but the moon is not here. With the magician and the death card, this person is a bit, they may be into the sciences or something that they're studying, spirituality. But this person is looking up your energy. I don't know. Someone is really into you very much right now. Like this person wanting to find you, to collaborate with you. I'm getting, like, this person may also want to put you in a movie. This is this tower card. Someone was doing some spells or, like, graveyard magic is what they call it. And they're being, they're uncomfortable now with the tower card. This person is uncomfortable and uneasy because they're being exposed. The sun is coming out. You are the sun. You are in sun energy today, Cancer, because you are vibrating truth. You're vibrating recognition you're vibrating um just coming out to your fullness you may be growing up getting older getting more conscious more spiritually in inclined and discovering yourself so you're finding out the truth about something that has been holding you back that this person did um this person did it but it's like they don't they will probably say you're not telling the truth but you, you are telling the truth. So this person, this could even be a family member. Yeah, that is in regret about what they were trying to do. These could even be friends to a group of people about what they were. Some of them were trying to like throw you under the bus, three of swords, something about your father. Some of them wanted to make you sad. Or to be left out, left alone, or to leave you out of something. Um, but this someone is like upset and panicking right now because they are being exposed. And like I said, you you are the truth, and you are coming out. You're coming up. So this person is also seeing that you're finding true love, and you're finding it within your oh look two of cups within yourself. You're finding it presently. You're finding it abundantly, truly. Right here today, six of cups and the two of cups. You hear? And so this person is realizing that whatever they were trying to do to pull you back in some way, nine of swords, they're disappointed. It's not working. So this person, I hear father again. So this person may be thinking of coming toward you face to face. But I feel with this four of wands, you're in a happy connection right now. Or you will be. So the, a lot of truth is being exposed about what your ex did, I feel like. And they were working with someone else, like some man. Um, but there's, yeah, you are safe. This person did not realize that you are so safe. Mm -hmm. This person thought that they would have been able to manipulate you, devil card, for a long time or get their way with you. But it don't go that way. I think your star quality, your star seed energy started to wake up. And this person did not expect that. Yeah, four of swords, page of swords. Yeah, five of swords also. They called the police. You may have said something that this person didn't know that you meant what you said. And you actually stuck to it. In real life and whatever it was, it was amazing to this person. Alright, so now this person is believing in you. Um, believing in your word, believing in your protection. Um, I feel like because at first they thought that they could stress you out, weaken you, manipulate you. But there, someone is getting to realize how powerful your love is and how powerful the power of someone else's love is for you. Right? Someone's name could be Monday. Or there's someone wanting to march back to you in your life. Someone is also saying that no matter what they tried or no matter what they said about you. There's someone that always wants to be with you. Like they can't keep someone away from you. Is the energy. The energy. So we have the fool card. Yeah, someone that has been trying 
they are feeling a fool, no lie. I hear rising up, waking up, like go, pairing the fool card and the sun, Cancer. That is you waking up to the truth. Yeah, and you protected yourself, and no weapons formed against you shall prosper. I feel, I hear diligently, I feel like someone did not expect you to protect yourself or to know how to protect yourself or to even like be in love or fall in love. That's the energy like, I don't know why they wouldn't expect you to fall in love. They may have thought something else. Alright, Ten of Swords. So this person was doing um, doll, doll things as well. Or she thought she could, like she thought that she could affect you, implicate you in something, but it just that did not work because you're in full energy. So you're not predictable like what this person thought. You're unexpected. It, you could be here, there, anywhere. This person is realizing that you're not the one to play with someone that was trying to do devious things or compete with you or throw you out or set you back. Someone is realizing that they shouldn't have played with you. Alright, that's so someone is pulling back. Someone is pulling back what they were what they tried to do. Because you are maintaining your stance and this is your love reading, so I feel you were dealing with a lot. Like with exes, family members, or sc I'm hearing schools too. It was a lot, yo. And that death card, I'm telling you, it was, it was, it was a lot that you were going through. But I'm glad that it is all being exposed with that sun card, the tower card, and the five of swords. That's a lot of truth being exposed. Seven of swords and clarity coming in. Um, that is exposing this person for what they've been doing and then you getting redemption and you're being set free. Yeah, Ace of Cups. And in the end, at the end of the day, this is lo there's love manifested for you. Like at the end of the day, you are, you like something wasn't destroyed. After all the fighting, you run to your person and they run to you when you embrace at the end of the day, love is real. Love is choosing you. That's the energy. After all of this drama, stress, fighting, breaking down, karma, magic, spells, everything after all that's being revealed, you still find this true love. So let's look. Two of Cups. This is a person of your heart. Let's see who this person is. A soulmate that you emb you're embracing with. You're connecting with. This is also a true love within yourself, I'm realizing. This is true love for real. King of Wands. Energy, true love, divine true love that you are meeting with. It's really beautiful. Yeah, the Queen of Cups and the Chariot. It's so beautiful. This is a heavenly love that you're um, aligning with. It. After all, a lot of drama. It's like a, a, an apocalyptic era, like the movie Transformers. You know, the robots and thing, a lot was going on. Boom, boom, big things happening, little things, just great things. Just a lot going on. And, and, and then now, uh, he got to finally run to his girl or she ran to him. So despite a lot of tearing down and depression and stress and having to defend yourself, protect yourself. Alright, and a lot coming out, a lot being exposed. Something about camera or the camera. Yeah, look, spies, page of swords, you're, you're, the truth, so a lot of truth is coming out. And whatever these people planted, whatever they did, spells or devices, they're going to have to pick them up, take them out, and get rid of them. And so it's like you're being saved, you're being protected, you're being lifted up, you're being vindicated from some type of a manipulative energy that was somehow in your midst. Thinking that it would take you for granted for the long haul, but it was really mistaken. And this person, this love, it thought that it would have kept you stuck perhaps. Um, or, or not chosen or not finding love, but you, you do at the end. And love is so real. And the love you have for yourself too is beautiful. You're so attractive. You're in sun energy and magician energy as well. You're also in ten of pentacles energy and you're not afraid at this point in time you're like the eye of the storm in a storm 
and so it's like you are the center of everything right now with the sun with all this th these things going on around you and you're getting recognized for that still and something about your birthday and then at the end of the day you're getting celebrated in love so take it easy out there and i'll see you in the next one i hope that these messages make sense for you <laughs> in some way cancer so take take it easy and remember to like this video share the messages subscribe to the channel please for more messages like this one and i'll uh, see you in the next one all is well all is within you something about your birthday like a birthday surprise or something much love